You're going to see an interesting battle of leg locks. We talked about Gary Tonin, and uh, you know he's a guy that tapped out Marcin Held, who might be one of the best uh, leg lockers in all of mixed martial arts. And Kara Darbinian, coming from that judo background, he has leg locks of his own. So we'll see, uh, we'll see if we get in a game of footsie here early in our second round. On the feet here, Darbinian and Tonin locking up. We see Tonin going for that sort of scissors body uh, sweep, I, I guess you would call it. Is there a name for that? Where he jumps up in the air and, and scissors his yeah, opponent? Yeah, scissors take that. It's actually a judo move. Uh, there's a particular name for it. I'm not a judo black belt, so I can't tell you exactly what the name is. Uh, but it is it's a, it's a scissor, uh, uh, scissor take down. Scissor take down. We'll go with that. Yeah, that's the American version. There's an actual nice Japanese hook name right there, the, but he uh, took it. Nice. Technique. Eddie Bravo would call it something different, I bet. <laughs> <laughs> well, generally, and it's generally illegal right, uh, yeah. for most submission grappling tournaments. It is. Because it's, it's very dangerous. If you fall wrong with that, there, there goes your knee. Sure. Gary Tonin going for this leg lock. We are very close to the mat here, so it'll be interesting to see how they uh, restart them here in the center as Tonin was going for a submission but really running out of real estate. And you know, Gary's actually only been doing leg locks hard for like two years. That's really impressive because he looks like he's been doing it for 20 years. Well, he, he trains hard. <laughs> I mean, he is amazing at it. But it right. was like uh, in uh, when he was preparing for uh, his Abu Dhabi uh, run, that's that's when he started working on his leg locks with uh, Danaher. Darbidi now on top of Gary Tonin. Looks like he's in a half guard position. He's actually got a little bit of a lockdown going on, Gary, on the bottom there. He's got that bottom leg threaded through to help keep Karin in place. So he has a little bit of a little stabilization going there with that leg. Now, if you're Darbedian, how do you get out of that? How do you free that uh, that lockdown position if your your leg is isolated? Well, there's a couple of different ways. Tenth Planet has some ways. Uh, we call it the uh, the buttock compressor, or um, you know, you could it could possibly free a foot sprawl out and try to work from there. Gary gives it up willingly. Um, otherwise, I mean, somebody with a leg lock background like Karin, I wouldn't be surprised for him to just sit with it and then start attacking once the the legs are committed. Oh, oh now Karin mm -hmm. sold out for yeah, sold out a toe for hold. a, a toehold, hold. but now Tonin back in it. I mean, these guys, when they go for these leg submissions, it's at the drop of a dime. It's, oh, yeah. it's nothing, and then all of a sudden, very deep. Yeah, they're, they're grabbing and they're running with it. I mean, you have to really be aware of what's going on. You, you can get seriously injured. Shade over two minutes into our second round of our 16-man tournament. It's Karin Darabedian on top of Gary Tonin. They're working the lockdown again. Gary is just looking to... Uh, Get inside, he's got an underhook, and now he might look to advance his position and work a sweep. Oh, electric chair, maybe. Possibly. Uh, he uses it as a sweep. He doesn't really try to finish with it, mm -hmm. but he does use it dog as a sweep fight. dog fight. What Karn wants to do is put Gary back on his back. Darbini able to pass. get out of that half guard, now inside. Yeah, Lee looking for Karin to hit maybe could be a, a Darce or some kind of north-south choke if he can get completely free. Right here we have that kind of position. He's working yeah. his way back in. Looks like it might be a Darce attempt. You see settle on some side mount here. Put a little weight on Gary, maybe wear him down a little bit. We see Tonin on his hip, not going uh, you know, back down, not allowing Darby Dean really to settle in the side. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he stayed very fluid that whole time and then managed to recover back in quite easily. Seems to enjoy um, the, uh, the pace they have going right now. Ooh. Ooh, there's the oh, there's attempt. a triangle attempt. He's got one arm, yep. and so yep. he's going to look hard. I'd turn it. Oh, he's, he's probably turning the arm. Plata. He hides the arm that was inside. It's a really good job of taking away the armbar attempt that could have. Now Tony trying to isolate Ooh, the left knee. leg of Car and Darabedian, maybe going for a knee bar. Yep. The knee might be out. Now we're going to maybe yep. switch it up to a heel hook. Switch it back to the feet. Nice little chess game here by Gary Tonin. Darabedian able to get free. Nice sequence here at the Orpheum Theater. It's EBI3, Karn Darabedian, and Gary Tonin. Great night of action coming your way on budovideos.com. Gary Tonin, the welterweight champion, defends his title here in the 16-man tournament. Again, fishing at the legs of Karn Darabedian. Four minutes in. You like what you see so far, Scott? I'm loving this one. This is a very exciting match, lots of action, uh, which is exactly what we're hoping for. Um, it's going to be interesting to see. Uh, it, he's going for, I, I think Karin's going for a, a guillotine right there in half guard. 
which we saw earlier. And Karin Darabedian had to think that this fight might have been on the horizon. He looked at where he was in the bracket, kind of had to assume that Gary Tonin was going to uh, get past Josh Vallis. And I'm sure Darabedian probably game planned a little bit for this hypothetical situation, which is now reality. Definitely. I mean, he knows that Gary Tonin has a very extensive leg lock game, but again, that's their strength there. So I think it might be a little bit of pride going in here on who was going to be the better leg lock guy. I think it's a big question coming in here who really has domination of his particular technique and position. So it might be, um, I mean, I'd be interested to see how much ego plays into, uh, you know, not, these guys are both humble, uh, you know, legit martial artists, but man, you're Look you're, at that scramble by Gary Tone, and he yeah. went for. Right uh, to the inside heel hook. Oh, that's that's deep. deep. What, that's what Gary wants. Oh, he got his leg out. Man, Karin is so good at the fence. He's just so familiar with all these leg lock positions. You kind of have to be hanging out at Team Highest Stand with the likes of Gokar Trevichian and, and Gene LaBelle's tutelage. Uh, you know, I doubt there's been too many foot locks that Karin Darbinian hasn't seen coming. Definitely. I don't, I, I don't think there's a single one that uh, he's not already familiar with. And leg locks especially are an area of jiu-jitsu where if you're not familiar with it, you're going to be in a lot of trouble when you run into somebody who is. Again, working that half guard, Gary. It's comfortable working the half guard position. It seems to, I think, uh, the lockdown, possibly into an electric chair sweep, is part of his strategy. He, he wants to stay away from a direct leg lock battle and, and probably take an advantage somewhere else. Back on the feet, a little flurry of action. Now we see them back at space, a little shake of the hand there, and we are underway. Yeah, Gary's talked about that before. He doesn't want to be in 50-50. He, he wants an advantageous position when, when he's... Yeah, I'd rather be in 100-0. Right? <laughs> <laughs> EBI would like to thank its sponsors, OTM, the Joe Rogan Experience, Drex Photos, and, uh, of course, everyone here at the Orpheum Theater, and not to mention Defense Soap. Now we see uh, another initiation here by Gary Tonin going yeah. again for the leg. Now he switches to Omoplata, Darbedian out of it. Back to Scramble again ensues. Oh, wow. Omoplata straight to the leg. That was a nice little setup there. Car and Dove. Ooh. Ooh. And yeah, now he's going for that gun. clover leaf, yep. which is one of Gary's favorite submissions right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Basically pins your, your legs together so you can't defend the heel hook. But uh, Karin, again, that he's so astute, no, has been there thousands of times before and just know exactly what to do from there. The dangers of Gary Tonin are many, but one thing in particular that I've seen is his entries to these leg lock positions are, you know, fast and furious. Mm -hmm. They come from every position. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. He's enjoying an advan advantageous position now, right now. This right here is called the, the saddle or the crippler, 411. The crippler, the honey hole. The honey <laughs> hole. Um, Dean Lister calls it 411. Mm -hmm. It's a really good um, leg knot position to attack legs. Multiple leg lock attacks right there. And it's one of Gary's favorite positions. There needs to be a jujitsu glossary so I can study up. Yeah, I'm, I'm Honey I'm hole? Sure. <laughs> well, those are more recent names and how we, we like to <laughs> indulge our creative side. There we go. I'm all for it. Ooh. I see Tonin and uh, Darbinian both going yep. for leg locks. Yep. Now rolling. Who's tougher? Who can take the pain there? I, th I suspect they both can take a lot. Oh, yeah. Gary Tonin really wrenching there on the leg of Karin Darabedian. Working that toe hold really you, deep. You look at the face of Darabedian, you would think that he's not in any sort of trouble. Just the same sort of demeanor on his face, just kind of yeah. looking at what Tonin's doing. Emotionless, just completely focused on, on the, the task at hand, which is defending those legs and attacking his. Darabedian, you know, not succumbing to anything from Gary Tonin, really making him work. Tonin had a very quick first round match. This one, not as quick. No, not at all. And although, you know, I would kind of suspect that this one would go uh, into overtime. Oh, yeah. in overtime. Yeah. Oh, although now Gary Tonin's digging deep on that Ouch. right leg of Karin Darabedian. He's able to get free, but uh, for a moment, that looked very dangerous. Yeah, it kind of had sort of a little popped on the way it escaped. So it might have uh, put a little put a little pain on, on Karin, maybe even a little damage there. Still Again. digging it. Oh, now. that's like a sock lock that, or. Um, Real name. Estima lock. Mm -hmm. uh, Karin yeah. was going Estima. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Talking about the legendary Braulio Estima? Yeah, that would be the one. Shade under nine minutes here in the second round match between Car uh, Gary Tonin and Karin Darabedian. We've really seen a display of composure and uh, athletic ability here as these guys have been going for legs and, and really everything in between since the onset of the second round match. And, and I think that Karin's ability to defend so far is just driving Gary. 
to, to want to finish. To want to finish like with said, that. Yeah, like the, the eagle battle, who's the better leg lock guy? Absolutely. I think it's, it's starting to play, uh, play its toll. Closer to the edge of the mat, they are going to reset them. Looks like it might be going into overtime here. To shade over 30 seconds but remaining re regulation. Gary considers himself a uh, rear naked choke guy. That's what he considers he his best submission. He is the lion mission, killer after right? all, yeah. The Mata Leone, his favorite uh, submission, but uh, you won't be able to tell that from just his uh, aggressive attacks at the legs. It'll be very interesting to see uh, if we go to overtime, like you guys mentioned. I mean, if that's his favorite submission, it's going to be interesting if Karin Darabedian finds himself on uh, the receiving end of a rear naked choke attempt. Darabedian on top here. Less than 10 seconds remain here between Gary Tonin and Karin Darabedian. A fantastic matchup. This really could have been the finals if this bracket was matched up a different way. So, yeah, sure. solid Absolutely. skill here on display by Karin Darabedian and Gary Tonin. They could not figure it out in 10 minutes. We go to our first overtime round. What would you like to see here by Gary Tonin if he wants to uh, attack the uh, he's back He's going to take here? the back, and he's, he's going to go right away. Like, he's going to try to slip those hands right away. He's going to drive his legs down. Karin did a good job covering the hands up initially, so he couldn't make that quick move. It was a mm. smart move by Karin in the initial uh, initial start. We see Tona moving for that uh, body triangle, and he gets it. We see Darabedian, you know, leaning to that right side. When someone has your body triangle, what is the correct side to try to put the weight on? Yeah, well, like Scott was mentioning earlier, if you can put the weight on the side that the triangle is locked up on, you have an attempt for the ankle lock. For There's a leg lock attempt there, the leg that's crossed the, across the body. It'll actually crank on that ankle. So um, preferably, he, he would want to be on the other side. Um, you can work from down here, but again, you're, you're stuck here you know unless he, he turns his body all the way out or, or gets to work the other angle he's he's basically stuck here as that leg is the knee and thigh are pinned on the ground there's no way of breaking that open it's a solid limb the, the only way to break it will be the other side by the hip where the actual lock is coming in Darby and fighting the hands here of Gary Tonin we've seen a lot of people Scott you know do the face crank to try to open up the rear naked um, is that what you would like to see Tonin here? But, you know, he calls this his favorite submission, his favorite position. He probably has setups of his own, but uh, he hasn't gone for that face crank that we've seen earlier. No, like he's basically kind of like going back and forth with both arms, trying to get one underneath, and then he'll commit to that one side. Uh, there is a preferable side, but you can finish it either way. And really, he's just trying to get the proper angle. And that's basically what I would do, too. You just keep switching it until you find which one you're going to get the angle with. Yeah, and he has all day. I mean, the whole uh, the overtime thing, you know, he's just running up time on that clock. So the longer he can yeah, still got position. possession. Mm -hmm. I see Darbedian sort of reaching up the head of Gary Tonin. Uh, now Tonin trying to lock up that uh, rear naked. He's got the arm over the face, and now he's able to move out of it is Darbedian. Trying to secure that body triangle. He let it go for a brief moment. Now he's trying to switch it. Darbedian actually paid attention to it, tried to peel the leg away to try to mm -hmm. break it. Mm -hmm. So I wonder if just the, the prolonged period of time being in that body triangle may be wearing on the Gokor trained fighter. Anybody. If you're, if you're a human and you rely on your diaphragm and lungs to breathe, <laughs> that's, that's going to wear down on you. So sometimes you can just push that body triangle down a little bit lower to, to the hip line, to mm -hmm. the hip bone. And then that way, they're squeezing your hip bone instead of the diaphragm, and that'll give you a lot more room to work with. A lot of time here is being afforded to Gary Tonin. Karn Darbini not able to reverse the position to get out of it to get into his overtime round. And you know, it's sound strategy to just maintain control and then try to really finish at the end of the first overtime round. Oh, rear naked choke coming and in now. And now we got that, Gary Tonin really finish. digging it. Karn Darbini. Biden is time Gary's trying to kick his the leg back. Tuck the chin. Kicks his leg down. Oh, it's done. It. Oh, I it. thought he'd yeah, yeah, but there it, it is. It. It's yep. all over. Karin Darabidian forced to tap to the lion killer, who is Gary Tonin. Amata Leon gets it done. Well, actually, again, uh, now we get the overtime. Karin Darabidian again has to uh, satisfy uh, a submission here. If he does not get the submission, the match is over. Right. It's very similar to college football, if you're familiar how uh, football over time is scored. If one team scores a touchdown, the other team has to score a touchdown or the, uh, the, the game is over. And here you have to get a submission uh, or, uh, or, or be forced to lose. So Karn Darbedian trying to answer the submission of Gary Tonin. Good control so far. Again, the, the sound strategy in these overtime rounds to start with that body triangle and get as much time as you can on route to getting that submission. 
Again, very happy that you're joining us here on BudoVideos.com. It's EBI3 from the Orpheum in Los Angeles, California. Again, I'm TJ DeSantis along with Scott Ross and Eric Cruz. Matt side here. EBI doing its part to change the way that Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and Nogi grappling is perceived. And, uh, man, this is, a, this is a great venue for it as we watch Karin Darabidi and try to answer back to a Gary Tonin mm -hmm. submission. You, you can see uh, the pressure on uh, the ankle of uh, Karin right there. You can see, like, how that torques when, when you get your body triangle stopped, trapped down. Tonin, oh, Gary's almost got the head free. Tonin not trying to be too aggressive here. He knows if he gets free, he wins, but still biding his time, making sure he doesn't make any sort of mistake. Oh, now he gets nice to the stand. Standing. Interesting. Trying to now stand he's trying to like a little hula hoop. Yep. Gilbert Melendez does that in mixed martial arts quite well. Yep. And Darbinian falls shake. off. It's wow. over. Gary Tonin victorious. He celebrates here inside the Orpheum. Great match. Beautiful. Gary Tonin moving his way on in the tournament. Let's throw up to Jim Fitzgerald for the official decision. All right, fight fans. In overtime, we have our winner from Ocean County Jiu-Jitsu, Gary the Lion Killer Tonin. Gary Tonin victorious. It takes overtime to dispatch Karin Darabedian. We'll take a look at the replay here inside the Orpheum. Scott, walk us through. Well, uh, this is where Gary was uh, finishing it up. He climbed on top of the back. He fixes the RNC in, and then he starts he's dropping his hips into it. And uh, Karin tries to relieve the pressure by turning to his back, but unfortunately, he's already in too deep. And that was it. Gary Tonin, the EBI champion for a reason. He moves on in the tournament. Let's move on to the next round here at EBI 3.